Yeet haw, it's Monday. Welcome back to another episode of Hot News. Let's jump right into the existential question of the day, which is when we clean out the lint trap in our dryer, for those of us who have dryers, it was like not a thing in South Africa. Anyways, when we clean out the lint trap of our dryer, are we just slowly throwing away our clothes? Pretty sure that, yeah, we're just, we're just throwing away our own clothes. What you gotta do is you gotta make patches out of the lint. Okay, and then patch the clothes to get the holes in them with the lint and you're reusing, okay? That's the best way to do it. Or you could use it as a fuel source for starting fires as well. The very flammable. Not speaking from personal experience, I know nothing about burning a house down. Let's go ahead and talk about Intel burning down the houses of AMD and Nvidia with them officially tweeting out the big daddy of all GPUs, Raja Kadori himself, showing off a GPU that has a die size that is four and a half times larger than the largest GPU that exists right now, which is NVIDIA's Tesla V100. Holy heckin' heck, this thing is a monstrosity. It's so big. So this came out in a couple of tweets that Raja Ghadori and the Intel graphics team posted on Twitter, which they subsequently deleted, not because the announcement wasn't supposed to happen, but because <laughs> Raja Ghadori and Jim Keller were wearing their face masks incorrectly. So it just made them look like they're not taking things seriously. Raja Ghadori tweeting out that the Project Z high performance is this big, big chip calling it the bop of all which translated from hindi means roughly big daddy of all this thing is huge as you can see it's bigger than a double a battery it is massive this looks like something that would go in a regular PC if you were on like some super high-end Xeon motherboard. Anyways, the idea behind this is that this is not going to be a consumer desktop GPU, just like the Tesla V100 is not a consumer desktop GPU. The big daddy of all typically doesn't come out to us plebs. It's only for server environments. And one of the interesting things, if you take a look at the design on the bottom, we can see clearly that it seems to be four different packages on this GPU, which means they're likely using multi-chip modules, which is something that we were expecting to come out of AMD quite some time ago using Infinity Fabric to connect them. Well, it turns out Roger Godori was like, hey, great idea. I'm going to use that over at Intel. And so it appears that that's how they're getting this massive die size using four different chip modules in, in order to get that 3,700 square millimeter die size on this GPU. It is huge. But even if you consider each module by itself, they're all still bigger than Nvidia's biggest GPU, okay? Because it's four and a half times. If we divide the 3700 by four, that's 925 square millimeters. Whereas the Tesla V100 is only like 815, 850, somewhere in there. I forgot the exact number. Anyways, pathetic. Nvidia, your old news. Roger Kadori and his improperly wearing mask self tweeting out the bop of all. We got, we got the big daddy GPU, not gonna be for gamers, but this could mean good things when it comes to multi graphics coming up, okay? You want you want SLI to come back? Maybe this, maybe getting multi-chip module programming for the Intel GPUs is gonna be the way to go. This big boy, not coming to us, but maybe, maybe we'll get a lower end version of this that we could just say is the big daddy of gaming. I would like a big daddy in my car. I would like a big daddy in my computer. Yes, please. Speaking of big daddy stuff, Intel, not just GPU things, but there's a new motherboard that was unveiled from MSI and this, I want this big daddy in my computer, and that's MSI's MPG Z490 Gaming Pro Carbon EKX motherboard with a monoblock built in. It's sleek, it's sexy, I want it. MSI, hit your boy up. But in case you want a big daddy on your pants, <laughs> in case you want a big daddy on your pants, burning your pants off, well, you'd have to look no further than the XMG Ultra Laptop, which is featuring the thermonuclear reactor known as the i9-10900K and a 2080 Super. So in case you don't want pants anymore because they were lit on fire and they're gone, well, and because you, you used the lint patch and made it very flammable anyways, XMG's got you featured. Uh, we've talked about previously how they have the 3950X 16 core in a desktop, but the i9-10900K coming out as the Intel equivalent on their XMG lineup. This is, it's just gonna, you, 
don't have children. But Intel still has plenty of money in their pants because they're looking to buy out the transit app company known as MoveIt. They're looking to acquire the app developer for around a billion dollars and it would help fold MoveIt into Intel's Israeli automotive hub and make it so that they could work on their self-driving strategy. So that should be coming out. And let's talk more about Z490 motherboards because I decided not to put those two together because genius level big brain. ASRock has unveiled their Z490 motherboard that features Intel's new ATX 12V power connector instead of using the 24 pin it has the new 12 volt out only using 12 volts across the entire motherboard and one of the benefits of the ATX 12 VO is that it could simplify power supply production you won't need various voltages everything is just on a 3.3 5 and 12 volt rail instead of having a 24 pin connector so maybe that could be the way of the future. But Intel's way of the future is to give us two CPU generations this year and then move on to a completely new socket next year for our next CPU generation. Basically saying, hey, 2020, let's yeet that out with the rest of 2020. All the Voldemort stuff, all the Australia burning down, all the almost going to war with Iran, let's yeet that. Let's yeet, yeet Comet Lake and Rocket Lake, even though Rocket Lake's not even out yet, just yeet it on out, and introduce the new LGA 1700 motherboard for Alder Lake. This is coming after Lit Tech, a Taiwanese-based manufacturer, posted a list showing that they are making support for LGA 1700 Alder Lake series stuff. <sighs> eat that one too, just eat it all. But you might wanna eat some money to a new B550 motherboard, which AMD has announced will be released on June 16th, in case you're not aware of that. Anyways, there seems to be some leaked pricing coming out of an Australian retailer, which take with a grain of salt because pre-release retailer stuff doesn't necessarily always pan out when it comes to pricing. However, the interesting thing about this is that B550 seems to hold no price increase over B450 and seems to be a direct replacement. You get better features, you're not paying extra money. This is the way it should be and it supports all of the Ryzen CPUs that have come out in the recent past. So freaking, I mean, AMD, good guy AMD, actually giving us socket support for a while. Speaking more about AMD though, they're apparently ramping up SOC production that are going to be going in the PlayStation 5 and in the Xbox Series X. This is coming as reports that the production of the SOCs is just increasing in volume. But volume increase is what AMD got according to this German retailer showing that they sold 91% AMD processors in April of 2020. Mind Factory releasing their numbers nine to one. They are just destroying Intel. Obviously, Comet Lake didn't get announced until very recently. Comet Lake's not being released until probably sometime later. If you're actually able to buy it, if they say it's released, but it's a paper launch, so it's not actually out, who knows? I doubt that's gonna change Intel's numbers very much considering it's not much of a new processor, but you know, 91%. And 91% happiness increase is what I'm getting from this next announcement, which is Nvidia is adding DLSS 2.0 to GeForce Now, which is kind of cool. It's, um, I lied, it's not a 91% happiness increase, it's probably like 3%. Like, hey, neat, my 2080 Super can do this, I don't need you GeForce now, I have a good computer. Speaking of having a good computer, a lot of people seem to have a good computer, good enough to run Half-Life Alex because Steam reported that they added nearly a million new VR headsets to Steam upon the release of Half-Life Alex. the total number coming in right around 950,000, but despite the success of Half-Life Alex being in VR. Steam said, hey, Mac, you suck! And they're removing Steam VR support on Mac OS. Speaking of another dying gaming platform, Google Stadia has announced that it's working on 4K HDR streaming to Android TV. You know, just something that we thought we would get at launch. We thought we were gonna get 4K HDR on every device, but no, they have to slowly roll it out. Android TV, gonna get it at some point, maybe. Maybe. But while we're on the topic of games, in case you didn't hear, The Last of Us Part Two got some major leaks last week. I'm not gonna spoil any of it for you here on Hot News, but suffice it to say, the report coming out about the leaker was that it was a disgruntled Naughty Dog employee who was doing this as a result of some pay disputes. Well, after some journalists did some digging, it appears that that is just a fabricated story and it was actually just hackers who found a vulnerability in some of Naughty Dog's older stuff and was able to get access to all of Naughty Dog's new stuff and upcoming releases, and that's how the leak happened. So not disgruntled employee, hackers. Hacker man. Hacker man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. Hackers are people who cough because they're hacking, <coughs> get it? Which is why you wear a mask 
Anyways, Uber is asking that all of their drivers and riders please wear a mask. They're not enforcing it right now, but they're, they're saying, please, please do, which I mean, do it. Wear your mask. If you're coughing, if you're hacking, if you're hacking, wear a mask, okay? Or stay home or maybe, you know, get rid of your lungs because then you wouldn't have to cough anymore. Real solutions here at UFT Tech. A real solution to the problem that I'm not having is my image quality on my pictures. But the Pixel 4a might solve that for some people who might be having that problem because there's now leaked pictures of Pixel 4a photos, including night sight, astrophotography, and dang, this thing looks good. I mean, single lens portrait mode, it, it's $400. It's a good looking camera, tell you what. But you know what's not gonna cost $400? Probably the OnePlus 7Z. But I don't even know what this is or why it's existing, but it's gonna have a Snapdragon 765G and I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it's the rumors are flying, flying. You know what else is flying? Murder hornets. As if 2020 couldn't get any worse. An insect that was native to Japan and had stayed on that side of the world has now been found in America. Murder hornets, in case you're, you're not familiar, are giant, giant hornets that are pissed off at life. Life is pain for them and they want to just sting anything until it dies and they die. They wanna make sure everything dies. If you're in the vicinity of a murder hornet, it's gonna murder you. That's how this works. It's, that's, it's got the name murder hornet for a reason. It's pissed. And I'm pissed that I have to end this episode of hot news, but let's go back to the existential question of the day, which is when you clean out the lint trap on your dryer, are you just slowly throwing away your clothes? Hmm? Are people who don't use dryers superior? How are they gonna make blankets? How do you make blankets? If you Wait, you use your lint to make blankets? Do you have a blanket that you're making right now? Reese has blanket skills. And my blanket skills are to blanket this ep end of the episode with the outro. They apparently are ramping up the production of the SN. Uh, they're apparently they're apparently ramp.